Well, good evening and welcome to the Lower Life Devotional. Here's Pastor Hayton. Seems like it's getting later and later in the day when I sit down to do my devotional. And some days don't even seem to get it done, so uh, I just don't know when things are going to slow down for me. But maybe one of these days things will slow down a little bit and I'll uh, make my devotion a little bit earlier in the day. I think a lot of you guys that have never had the responsibility of shopping and cleaning and doing the laundry, uh, you have no idea what all's involved in all of that. And of course being care t caregiver to Carol, who's uh, not able to do very much, along with pastor in the church, I'm trying to be a good uh, granddad to my grandkids. Well, it seems like I'm just swamped most of the time, but I enjoy being busy. It keeps me out of trouble and I feel happy and productive in being busy. But I was driving along a while ago and I was thinking about some nice big fresh garden tomatoes and who doesn't enjoy fresh stuff from the garden and I thought back to the time that I've done some gardening and I have had a lot of nice gardens across the years been able to uh, produce a lot of stuff from the gardens that I have uh, had and and uh, I remember back when all the kids were home and Carol was full of energy why uh, we just kind of can stuff and throw stuff and preserve stuff and and I just sometimes had about a winter supply of food just from the garden that I grew. But I was thinking about one particular year, just a few years ago when I was pastoring down in Stockton. I had such a lovely garden. Last garden I had, I had 10 50-foot rows of green beans and 10 50-foot rows of sweet corn, 110 tomato plants. I had uh, potatoes, and I had cucumbers, and I had uh, cantaloupe, and just about anything you can imagine. I had a huge garden. I enjoyed working that garden so much. But anyway, one day the little old neighbor lady, she was an elderly lady, but she called me over to the fence when I was out working in the garden. She said, Preacher, I've got some little tomato plants here. Do you have any use for them? And I said, well, I've got quite a few, but I've got some space, so I'll take them. And I envisioned, you know, some nice, big, healthy-looking tomato plants, six or eight inches tall, already starting to bloom. But instead, she led me over to the edge of the garden, where she had just tossed out a handful of seed. And from that seed, there were some little old tomato plants that had sprung up from the ground, uh, barely bigger than a blade of grass, two or three inches tall. And I thought, my, I'll be wasting my time uprooting those and putting them over across the fence in my garden. But she was standing there watching me, and I already told her I would take them. So as carefully as I could, I pulled the young tender plants from the ground and took it over to the ground that I had carefully prepared, put them in the ground, and thought, well, I'm just kind of wasting time and taking up some space here. But, uh, you know, I, I was going to give it a try. So I was very careful when I'd go to the garden not to step on those plants and not to mistake them for weeds that had sprung up. And you know, it wasn't long until they began to grow. And it wasn't for just a few weeks or a month or six weeks, I don't know how long, but I'd sit out there with a garden basket and reach over on those vines and pull off cherry tomatoes by the handful. I'd get a basket full one day and go out the next day and where there had been blooms before, there were more cherry tomatoes. And I tell you, I never had so many cherry tomatoes in all my life. And yet, it all came from just little old sp uh, spindly plants that I thought would never survive. And I thought about Christians that I know today. You know, you look at them and you wonder if they're ever going to survive. You wonder if they're ever going to amount to anything. You wonder if it's going to be just kind of a waste of time to even try to nurture some of those Christians. But I think about the potential of anything that is alive. I think of the potential of that which God has created to bear fruit. And I think that if you give it careful nurture and uh, take good care of it, there's a potential of growth and much fruitfulness. And I'm thinking of people that come to my church and some of them haven't been going to church very long. Some of them haven't been associated with church all their life. And, and yet they seem sincere in wanting to serve the Lord. And yet I look at them and I wonder if they'll ever really be a fruitful Christian. 
Well, thinking about those tomato plants, it gave me hope and it gave me encouragement that I'm going to nurture them and I'm going to expect much fruit in the days to come. Heavenly Father, may we realize the potential of that which is alive in Christ. And Lord, may we uh, just expect much fruit from these that uh, today don't seem to, to amount to much, but uh, with your help and your grace, we can make such a difference. Bless us throughout the evening on down throughout life. In Christ's name, amen. Well, thanks for letting me share that. I'll see you tomorrow on the Lord Light's devotional here with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye.